Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of end term, and it's gonna. I'll give. I'm gonna give you a couple of five, seven, nine, eleven. Give me. I'm gonna make it hard. Okay, I want to know the hundredth term. Um. So, plus two. Right. I'm just listening. Yeah. Okay. I'll write that for you. Yeah, and then so it'll be two n. Two n. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. Three. Plus three. You know this stuff already. Okay. So hundred one. Uh, two hundred three. Two hundred three. Do you really want to do this? I can give you a backwards one if you want. Okay. Okay. So. I just want to do even if I do one question of each. Thing. So I know I've done it. Okay. Ah. Oh, hmm. Okay. So, What's the hardest one you can do? Well, we can do the quadratic ones. That's the hardest stuff. And for GCSE level. Yeah, but yeah, it is GCSE. But I have to think. Yeah, GCSE standard, isn't it? So okay, let's just do one more easy plain nth term, and then we'll do the quadratic stuff. So let's say. Nine, uh, six, three, whatever. Yeah. So nth term. So it'll be minus three. Yeah. Minus three. What? Okay. Yeah. So it's going backwards. Yes. Yeah, so it's minus yeah. three. Yeah. And then. I don't know. Okay. So we we've got something to work on here. So. We know it's going minus three, so that tells you it's minus three n to start off with, right? Yeah. Okay. Now minus three n means the minus three times table, which is starts with minus three, then it goes to minus six. Oh yeah. Then it goes to minus nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. There'll be plus. Yes. Twelve. Plus twelve, nice one. So that's good. You just needed a bit of revision on that. Yeah. Okay, I'll be okay with this because we did talk about it. I felt like we talked about it last lesson as well. Besides the quadratic stuff, we talked about the other versions of it. So, for example, I'll say um, is I don't know one hundred in this pattern. This pattern here. Somewhere. Mm. In no, of course it can't be. This is a dumb question. And so let's call it minus a hundred. Is minus a hundred in that pattern? Mm, plus or minus twelve. Which is minus one hundred. No. No, because hopefully you did something like minus three n plus twelve equals minus 100, then minus 12, so minus 3n, minus 112, I don't know, how can you tell, let me see. You do 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is 4, and so it can't be a multiple of 3. Oh, 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is 4, and what happens? And then so it can't be a multiple of 3. What should it be to be a multiple of 3? Three, six, or nine. Oh, it, oh, when you add the numbers up, it should be a multiple yeah. of three. Oh, nice trick. You just passed that on to the world on the YouTube. Nice one. 